Hi Blinks! Blackpink in your area? If you love Blackpink, this video is for you. So, there was one day, my husband came to me and uh, told me that Blackpink came out with a new music video. Big Venom! So, I watched a music video with him and I was like, dang, the costumes! And I was just like, let's make that. So I think what really hit me when watching the music video was I like how the costumes had a lot of movements which, which actually helped with their dancing, you know, moving it around and making the drapey parts of the costumes really move, creating a lot more things going on. I love that. So let's make that today. But before we go and start making the costumes, let's just go and do some research as to the costume and how it looks, a little bit more close up so we know exactly what we're looking for. All right, so. What I did was, I went on Google and I went to type Black Pink Pink Venom. I'm gonna go ahead to show you my screen recording here. So, I was looking at uh, different costumes that uh, were shown in the music video and oddly enough, I really like the full black costumes over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. I actually really like this one over here, this general look. I think the main thing as to why I really like the look is because, you know, I, we've got lots of um, different fabrics and lots of different layers going on with the costumes and the different things draping down the costumes. So, we're gonna recreate that look today. Best part is 10 minutes and we're gonna be done. If you don't believe me, just keep watching. All right, let's look at the aesthetics first. So over here, I've just opened one of the images that we found on Google and I'm gonna zoom into the different costumes and oh my goodness, they look, look, look amazing. Look at Jisoo here. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. Girl, your bangs, I love it. So, I think one thing I really like about the whole look that Jisoo has is actually the black straps that are draping down on her. And I think that actually brings out a lot of, like, in a way, Safi is still very feminine, but also really strong. So I also really like how Jenny has those drapes going down. Really, really long drapes going down over there. And that actually brings out a lot of the look, especially when she's dancing, a lot of movements going on. So I really like that as well. So of course, everyone has a little bit of that going on, but we're going to recreate one that is kind of a mix between Jisoo and Jenny's one. In terms of the length, in terms of the style, we're going to kind of bring it together, all right? So I'm just going to go ahead and screenshot this picture, and I'm going to draw it out so you can actually see what we're going to look at. So I really like how this waisted band going on for Jisoo is looking with all of these straps going on over here. Right? We also have the waistband straps going on over here. Love that. And I also like how uh, Jenny has all of these going on over here. These long straps, if you can see that. It goes all the way down past her ankle. So her ankles are over here. It's going past down her ankle. All the way down. So the nice thing is it actually creates a lot of flow and movements in your costumes as they're dancing. So to top it all off, I actually like how the colour scheme is actually bringing it together. Really a little bit of a grayish brown tones and you also have very muted greens and a little bit of um, like a silverish gray but not too loud and the black in itself as well well black but not in a true true black that created a lot of a fusion going on which i really love and so i picked out a fabric that i already had at hand that i feel would actually bring out this vibe as well and this is the fabric over here that we're gonna use Ta -da! So this fabric over here is really beautiful. I've created a couple of costumes using this fabric before and I love it. So as you can see, okay, it's not an opaque fabric. It has a really nice silver uh, intertwined and woven into the fabrics. But most importantly, look at how the netting is. It's so gorgeous, so beautiful. It's not opaque in the sense that it actually pulls it in by itself, but it actually gives off the color of whatever the base color is going to be, which I love. So we're going to use this fabric over here. And most importantly, note, this fabric doesn't fray. If you're not sure what fraying means, okay, so imagine if you cut a certain fabric and if you don't um, solve the edges or sew the edges, the fabric starts to run and run again. You pull the whole string of fabric and then the fabric becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. So that's the meaning of fraying. So I want to make sure that this costume doesn't fray so that we have a costume ready in 10 minutes. Just a side note, you're gonna watch a video at the end of this with Putra dancing in this costume. So this costume is dedicated to all of you blings. I hope that you're going to find this useful and just keep watching. By the way, if you have any questions so far, drop it down in the comments below. More than happy to help you with this project if you're going to embark on it yourself. But anyway, just want to put it out there that fabrics really depends on what you can find in your fabric store. So go ahead, go to your fabric store and have fun with that. Alright? 
let's get started. All right, so this is what you're gonna need. Fabric and a pair of scissors. That's it. Make sure to choose a fabric that does not fray, okay? All right, so ta-da! So let's go ahead to unravel the fabric. We've got so many pieces going on here. I love it! Okay, let's see what we can do with these later. Complete beauty. Look at how beautiful this is. So from here, I'm going to use the edge of the fabric as one of the sides that are, is going to be part of the skirt. So I'm going to actually flip it this way. Alright, nice. I'm going to flip it this way. I'm just adjusting this to make it look nice. It doesn't have to be very even on both sides because it's really up to you how long you want. But the main thing I want you to be sure of is where the length from here to here is going to be from your waist to the length of the skirt. Okay, because we're going to tie this around the waist, alright? So, go ahead, check it out, make sure that this jenny really looks alright to you. If you want it a little bit longer, go ahead, just make it a little bit longer, adjust it this way. Okay, so, once you're done with this, I want you to stretch the fabric to make sure that there is stretch in the fabric across this way. We call this the bias. So when you're stretching it according to the corners this way, we call it stretching against the bias. So this has the most stretch, all right? Great. So what you're going to do from here is you're then going to use your scissors to cut that out. You've got the square piece. Get the rest of the fabrics away. And let's have this over here. So what you're going to do from here is you're going to create a circle. So before you do that, we're going to fold this to match over to the other side. Ting, ting, ting. Alright, so you're going to create a triangle. It doesn't have to be even. In fact, it can be uneven if you like that. Okay, so then from here, you're going to just use your scissors and create a quadrant. Alright. So I'm just going to grab my scissors. You want to make sure it's about... Okay, let's use your hand as that size. Okay, it can be a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm going to use about this length over here. Okay. And let's cut a quadrant. Tick, tick. Out. So right now you can see this piece is off. You're just going to cut a quadrant. And these are all of the pieces that we have. There you go. Pretty simple so far. Let's open it to find out how it looks. All right, now that you have this, let's just keep it aside first because we might just use that this circle in a little while. But let's open this to see how it looks. Ha, huh. very cute. We've got this going on here. So we've got four corners going on here. Really like it. I like how there are the different lengths going on. So, what I'm going to do from here is this circle and just now I had some of these rectangular pieces. You can just cut some rectangular pieces over here, okay? So what you're going to do from here is you're just going to grab one of the corners, alright? Grab one of the corners and, okay, let me show you. Just grab one of the corners, crumple it this way, alright? Just crumple it, grab one piece and tie. Messy is good. Alright? Messy is very good. Let it go. Very good. We've got one piece going on over here. I'm going to create another piece. Let's find another side. I'm going to grab another rectangular piece and I'm going to tie this up. Alright? All right, we've got this going on here. So far, it looks good. I'm going to get one more piece over here. One more rectangular piece. I'm just going to tie it up and just play with it. Might adjust it later. I don't know. I'm going to leave one side a lot longer than the other side and just tie. Okay, so far, we've got this going on. Looks great. I've got this small circle over here. I think what I'm going to do is, let's see. Let's tie one small piece up as well. I'm just grabbing one piece, crumpling it up from the skirt, using the circle, and tie a knot. 
Okay. Now, let's see how this looks. It looks like nothing, but all right, let's try it on. Are you ready for the final results? 